Yes, I feel 
that it is to have a have a good church service and to have an opportunity for someone to be saved uh, before it's too late in their life, no doubt. You know, I, I, I'm not trying to uh, scare anybody in any way, but we never know that uh, when the last day may be that we will leave out of here deep. And, and uh, I believe it's important that that, uh, that the church be doing her part. And, and, uh, and in, within that, you know, the preachers and the, and the deacons and the lay members, uh, we believe that, that everyone's got a part uh, in this thing. And, and, and I, thought about, I thought about the church this evening just a little bit, and y'all pray. Uh, if you would, we might read in the book of Matthew this evening, but I thought about now the church, and uh, uh, it, it's a place of uh, cleansing, and it's a, it's a place of help and uh, a place of healing today, if you'll have it. And, and I thought about how that... Uh, we could come in, and, and I know the Lord works in, in, in a lot of different ways and a lot of different places, but, uh, buddy, I, I'll tell you what, this evening, I, I was in the church house one day when uh, Brother Gill, I heard the gospel come my way, and, I, you know, like you may say, well, they, two or three could gather out on the job, and you could heard that too, and, and that's probably right, but the Lord, I'm not going to put any reins on him or try to hold him back, he can, uh, his will is greater than mine, and his ways is greater than mine. But uh, but for me and myself, that I sit in a I sit in the church house one morning when uh, a good man of God got up and began to preach, and uh, I, I often thought about how that he uh, he preached John 14, and then he talked about it a little bit. Uh, uh, sometimes we as preachers we may think that we know what we've got when we come uh, this way, and uh, he even told him about having his, th his finger in the pages there to uh, knowing where he's going to turn to. But the Lord don't always uh, take my guidance. I need to be taking his. But I, I thought about that morning that we was in the church house and, and, and the man opened the book to John 14. And I often wondered, and, and I never got to talk with him, but I often wondered if, if in some way or another that uh, maybe he didn't want to be there that morning, that maybe he'd studied somewhere else, but uh, the Lord moved him to where he would want him to be at, and, and through the power of the gospel, I, I got to hear that day about uh, how Jesus died for me. I, I got to hear about how that, uh, how that Jesus said, not, hey, let not your hearts be troubled, but I thought about how, and, and I'll just be honest with you, a couple rows back down the pews there, I got this old boy begin to, uh, to be troubled in his heart and soul just a little bit. And, and buddy, I'm glad that uh, that morning that, uh, that I was in that house, I, I'm glad that the Lord troubled me that day. I'm glad that he began to uh, get my eyes focused on something. Uh, Brother Mark, other than this old life that I'm in, this old world that I'm in, but I first saw about how that uh, the church presented uh, the gospel. And, and I thought about this and this evening, how uh, we're gathered together and, and we come before the Lord in prayer and, and we brought singing and, and we made a joyful noise to him. And, and I believe the Lord will honor all those things. And, and I believe he'll begin to move in that and, and in the church is in the, in the right spot. But I, I listen, when the church is in the right spot, I, I, those people that sitting in the pews and, and crewed by the, by the Holy Spirit of the Lord are, are moving and growing and, and things of that nature. Uh, we begin to hear, uh, not with our ears necessarily, but uh, with our heart what the Lord has for us. We'll hear that. And, and I thought about how that, uh, no doubt, the, uh, the church was in the right spot that morning. How, how do you know that preacher? Well, how the gospel came my way. I believe it was in the right spot. Are you saying everybody in the house was uh, where they ought to be? I'm not saying that. Uh, but I'm saying the church got a hold of the Lord that day. And, and why do I know that? Uh, because the Lord got a hold of me. And, and through the Holy Spirit, I uh, believe he drove me and he showed me I was on my way to the devil's hell. And he showed me what I needed to do. I believe that with all my heart to sing. And I'm trusting in that until the day that I leave here. That what the Lord done for
for me back yonder. It was good enough. Now, you all know the story. I didn't get saved that morning. But, buddy, I was on a, a one-way trip from there on. And, and I knew that where I stood with him, I knew that if I died in the condition I was in, uh, they wouldn't know a conscience bothering me. They wouldn't know things like that. But I knew without a shadow of a doubt, uh, because the Lord had, had pricked my soul, I knew uh, where I stood with him. I knew where I stood. But I thought about the church. I thought about how that uh, she was in here that morning. And I thought about how that we come, and I'm going to read a little bit, and y'all pray just a little while, and we're, trying to, we're going to try to get her thought and her points across this scene with what the Lord has given us. And I, and I thought about how that the, the church is somewhat uh, compares to a hospital. And, you know, we know that uh, you can go to the hospital and, and you can get some healing there and, and they'll put you in and uh, but they'll put IV on you and they'll, uh, they'll work on you a little bit and, and these nurses and doctors are doing certain things and, and I thought about the comparison between uh, the hospital and the church and, and you know what, this evening I believe there's healing in the church today. I believe there's help in this church today. I believe there's tools in here to use and that's me and you. I believe there's things in here and that's and in good with the Lord that uh, when we get on our knees uh, and we call out on heaven, I uh, believe we can bring the prayer of hell. I uh, that's in that heart back booth there. Uh, we can bring the prayer of hell of heaven. I uh, believe the Lord, He'll acknowledge that. And, and I believe He'll put His, he's put his blessings on that. And we'll get her saved before we all do. Oh, let me read this a little bit about a bunch that, uh, that had to get cleansed up first. But the Bible says this is in chapter 21 of the book of Matthew. In verse number 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and, and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seed of them that sold doves. In verse 13 said, And said unto them, It is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, now, but, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them, it said. And he healed them. And I, and I thought about if we were going up to the hospital this season, and I thought about if I was going to have to be laid out on the operating table, I want them to clean that thing up just a little bit with you. Uh, them tools that they're going to use, that knife or, or whatever it is, scissors, whatever, I want that cleaned up just a little bit, wouldn't you? I want the doctor to have his hands clean and, and some gloves on. I want him to have a mask on if he was going to work on me, wouldn't you? Uh, what difference is it with the church this season? How uh, we need to get the stuff out of it. How uh, we need to get her cleansed up. How uh, that we might be able to heal. How uh, that we might be able to help somebody. How uh, when Jesus run these out of there. How uh, when he turned the money tables over and things of that nature. How uh, buddy, he was able to take them in and, and he gave them on their side and he healed those that were in there. And I thought about this season. I put it all in the church. I see this where she ought to be. I thought he will hear from heaven and we'll see her people say. When we get ourselves cleansed up, won't we? And I know we back in the floors and clean windows, and I understand that. Don't you misunderstand what I'm talking about? I'm talking about you and me being cleansed up this season. It won't matter if we run the vacuum cleaner up and down this floor 15 times. If you and I ain't where we ought to be, I don't know if the word will go out or not. But I listen this season. I'm glad that, that when we can get where we ought to be, we, uh, when we can call out on the Lord, if, if you want to see people saved, if, if you want to see your neighbors saved, uh, we got to get it right sometimes. Uh, you and I got to get it fixed up in our lives. It sure may not be too popular, but it'll be all right. I thought about the place cleansing and healing to seek. And buddy, I want, the, I want the Lord's house. I want this building. I want it to be a house called a house of prayer. I want, I want folks to know that uh, they can come up 
up here and they can find help for a troubled soul. How they can find a healing if that's what they need in their life. How, buddy, they can pass. Listen, hey, if I understand the book right, you can pass from death unto life. And the house of prayer in the Lord's house. Listen to this city when I thought about, I thought about just how great the Lord is. And, buddy, when the, when the church, and you all know when I believe on it, I'm taking you into the book of Acts and show you when they begin to sing and pray, how the socks fell off, how the doors was open when they begin to sing and pray. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple and saying, Oh, Sanus, to the son of David, they were sore displeased. And I looked up that word, whole sense. And there was a divine that is please say. And another said that it was a, a way of uh, exclamation or to uh, up well or to uh, give praise or uh, things of that. But uh, they cried to uh, to the Lord, Hosanna, uh, the one that was saving those, that uh, the one that was healing those, that uh, and the lame and the blind. Uh, and I'm glad to see them to know. Hey, some people may go up down the road. Uh, I've done it before while they're having church uh, and maybe look over and snigger. But uh, buddy, I'll tell you what. Uh, when the Lord saved me, I found out they was power. Here, I found out there was something here after reaching everyone, and, and if we would only trust and accept that, we'd be all right, wouldn't we? We'd be all right. Listen, the cleansing and the healing. When we get a healing, we go up to the hospital, we get some things fixed, and we get us a shot, we get us some penicillin, maybe. I guess it's still good today. I'm glad that I can come to the house of prayer. And buddy, I can get what I need for my soul. I can get a fix. And buddy, I'll be honest with you. If you walk out here much and see what's going on. But I don't know how we can how we can not darken the doors of the place. I don't know how we can forsake the assembling of ourselves together. I need, I need the church this evening. I need, I need the healing. I need the power. I, I need to feel the Lord's presence in my life. And somebody wants to say, "Get a little cup." They'll come and find out. I don't believe that's called to. Got a little cup. Listen to see. This is a place. Of, this is a place of healing. And the blind and the lame came in the temple and healed themselves. I, I believe he's still I believe he's still in the human being seat today. I, I don't think he's no difference. Now I know he don't walk. He'll not come. You'll not see him coming up the aisle in in, in the robe and the sandals. You'll not see him that way. But I can feel him in my heart. I, I can I can feel him in the priest's gospel. I know that he's real this season, and I know this hell in here. And as I've often said, I'd rather I'd, like, I'd rather have you all around me crying out to the Lord on my behalf than anything that I know. And I'm not taking anything from anybody. I know there's help here. I know there's people sin. I, I believe the Lord has his hand in all things. I believe he'll, he'll send someone to help you if you'll cry out to him. But I also believe there's help here. But it takes some cleansing. It takes some cleansing up. Paul Wayne, I, as I've said before, when Paul Wayne comes up the road, you all want him to have his heart right, don't you? You all to if you don't. You want me to be right? I want to be right. I want to be able to stand behind this desk. And if the Lord would want me to preach in the power of the gospel, I want to be able. I don't want anything in the way. I want to be cleansed. I, I, I don't want to be sterilized. Uh, this old man to be sterilized and, and him moved out of the way that you might be able to see Jesus in there. That you might be able to see that light. Well, we get her cleansed. Uh, they, they stay up here, ain't they? There's the healing here. I'm thankful to be here. I, I appreciate your prayers. Uh, 
wrote a little, had a little issue in history and made a broke sword. But, but, I, but I want you, as, as they look for us to start on the invitation, we may, somebody may need to pray this evening. You think about it. You think about the house of prayer this evening. This, this Wednesday night service is, is our prayer meeting. Ain't Brother Hill, we talked about that. This is our prayer meeting. And buddy, I'll tell you what, I, I, I can't remember one that the Lord's not made us right here and come along and, and gave us the word and, and gave us the, the peace that only he can give us. I can't remember one. There's help here this evening. There's healing here this evening. Well, yes, yeah, the Lord, the Lord's here. And you know what I thought about <laughs> thought about that morning that I went to that church and I, and I and I told it before and maybe I'll tell it another hundred times I don't know, it's alright, it's my story and buddy I, I'm, I'm glad that I've got a story today but I can tell somebody brother Dave I've got a story but I went there because I wanted to, to fulfill a, a, not a promise but somebody asked me and I told them I'd go and I just went for that purpose. But I'll tell you what, what I got that morning. What the Lord came along and showed me that morning. But He began to work in my heart and in my soul. That one day down the line, a little ways, that I had to find me a little daughter to pray. I had to, I had to, I had to meet with Him because He was meeting with me. And buddy, I'll tell you what, I, the food just went away. And buddy, he came in that day. I asked him to come in. And, and he set his abode up in my life and in my heart and in my soul. And buddy, I've never been the same since. Makes me act like I am. Makes me have the hope that I have. And when, when you all sing those old songs as I it makes me have a peace in my heart. Makes me long for hope. And then when you all testify that they wouldn't let one day we'd be together, it makes me long for home. Knowing I'm going there too. Knowing that it's been fixed up, it's been made ready. This old man's been healed. This old Henry man. Oh, he's light as the snow. He's, he's as, as powerful as, as heaven itself. But he's been made, been saved by God's good grace. And, and I pray this season, I hope I've made some sense to you. But I thought about the eagle. I thought about the wine and the wine. That when all that other stuff got cleansed, but I was able to do some work in that part too. Lord, straighten me up. I don't know this evening, there may be something in your heart. Maybe this is just, this message was just for you and I that we might be up with you just a little bit. Knowing that there's a healing and knowing that there's a cleansing in the Lord. And knowing that He comes along, He'll make you whole. Maybe it's just for that purpose. I don't know. Maybe you're here tonight and maybe you're lost and undone and you know what I'm talking about. And, and you're sitting there and say, Oh, that preacher, he, uh, he, must, uh, he must be in my mind or in, in my thoughts or whatever. That I know that when I lay down, that how that the Lord showed me that I'm on my way to hell and I need to do something. I don't know. That may be you this evening. I don't know, but I, I, I know that I need to come up the road with what the Lord gives me and I, I need to lay it down. As our brother said, sometimes I, we want to think it up in our mind or, or study or ponder, but hey, it's not always that way. We need to follow after the Lord and, and where He would have us be. And that's where the power's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> As we stand to say this signal, we pray this altar's open. This altar's open.
Obviously, 